everybody, it's Santa Makes 4 and I'm back with Marisol and I'll do a review of Isabel's performance outfit. When I saw this outfit in the catalog as um, part of Isabel's collection, when I first saw the collection, I definitely knew I wanted it and I thought it'd be perfect for Marisol because it reminded me so much of her collection's outfits. So it was one of the things I had on my list I definitely wanted to buy when we went to the store in the first and I got it and I'm really happy with it. It comes with this black unitard. Um, you can see that it has a wider strap and not spaghetti straps and it velcros down the back. It's pretty easy to get on and the length is like a capri kind of length to it. The tiara it comes with is really heavy duty. Um, so it's well made. And then she has the bun helper in her hair. It looks like a sock bun, of course. It's exactly like the kind I use in my hair. Um, only it's miniature. It's so cute. And it's fairly simple to do a bun like that in Marisol's hair. We all know that Marisol has a great wig anyway. Um, and it just, it's really easy to use in her hair. I apologize for the light, that the light is so bad. It's just getting dark outside. I have all the lights on in here. Um, and light even on in the bathroom behind me, trying to get more light in so you can see how pretty she is. So, um, next is the tutu. And it's really unique, the way that it's made. This is actually in the book, Meet Isabel. It talks about her family. They go to the market and they get supplies to make her performance outfit for the Waltz of the Flowers dance. And it's actually a pretty big part of the story. So I was pleased to read that. Um, and they talk quite a bit about the little, there's a meaning behind the little corsage um, um, of flowers that are attached to the choo-choo with a button. It has a loop and a button and it's detachable, just so you know. And then this is supposed to represent water lilies. Again, it's part for story. I won't give the story away. It does have a meaning. There's a layer of pink tulle underneath. And then it's yellow tulle on top. And there's some more pink tulle in the flower corsage at her waist. And next, uh, her wristband I think is really cute. It has sequins on it. And they're yellow, pink, and silver. When I first saw it, I thought of, like, it reminds me of Twilight, the wristbands in the Twilight movies. I just think it's funny and cute. Um, it's Marisol. It reminds me of her old outfits. And then it comes with these little cute little slippers. Of course, you cannot have enough slippers in Isabella's collection. I've actually ordered more slippers off um ebay that weren't too bad in price a black pair because the pink were out of stock and hopefully i'll be able to order some pink ones soon but these are gray and they have a lace up and if you look and just take your time it only takes about like a minute for each one but you just have to look and take your time and make sure you have the right side of the ribbon facing up and you can tell what the right side is um and you can tell it has an ankle strap and then two crisscrosses. I don't think they go up too high. I think they're adorable and cute and I really like them. And even in the book, they mention that they dye her slippers gray. So they give an explanation why they are a traditional pink or black ballet slipper. So other than that, I give this outfit. I have no problems with it. It's in the book, everything. I give it an A+. Plus. I love it. Definitely put it on your list of things to get. The only drawback would be the price, but you do get a lot for the collection. You get a tiara, a tutu, corsage, which wristlet, um, unitard, and ballet slippers. So you get quite a bit. Okay, my next review will be, looking up there at my girls, Isabel's Pajamas on my number 55 Piper. So... Um, stick around, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!